right, guys. On today's episode, we're up off Flat Top Road up in Soddy Daisy, and we will be doing a custom pond for some very special clients of ours. Now, these clients are actually big fans of our YouTube page, so had to give them a quick shout out. But let's get on to the gear that we're going to use. Of course, we're going to have Old Reliable, our 299 skid steer. Got to have your bulldozer to be able to push all this dirt around. And we also brought our compactor, the Bow Mag. So this actually used to be a pond. And when they did the construction on the main road out in the front yard, um, it kind of messed it up a little bit. And the pond would always just drain out in the summer. So they gave us a ring. And we're going to come in and get this pond back right. So how we're gonna do this, we're gonna start out with our bulldozer. We're gonna get the pond on grade and in the shape that we wanna have. One of the cool things is we're actually gonna keep all the dirt on site. We'll actually be bringing in some more dirt. I'll get more into that in a little bit. But we're gonna push all the dirt over to the right side of the pond. And once we get it up there, we have our skid steer. We're kind of smoothing it out, creating a nice level area that is accessible driving as well which would be great for the client but the real beauty is you're going to have full access to the pond all the way around so that's enough of that let's get straight on to it i hope you guys enjoy it as always like and subscribe hit that bell button so you're notified when we drop a video and sit back and enjoy this transformation As we use the bulldozer to compact the ground and move the dirt, our mechanic Colton shows up to do some routine maintenance. So it's not even rolling over. Take some time, gonna make a mind 
that. Yeah, it looks like that's <laughs> definitely it right there. <laughs> Pretty easy when you find a that clear. Do you think you just have to tighten something yeah, or? Yeah, so this is a filter actually. This filter screws directly into the fuel pump. As you can see, it's, it just, yeah. it's vibrated loose. So we'll loosen that clamp on the bottom and tighten it up. Should we get good? Easy peasy, baby. That's it. I like. So if that's not cracked, what, what does that essentially mean? What does it mean the problem is? I ain't figured it out yet. So you think it might just be leaking from the hose where it connects? I guess so, because it, it might be. Because uh, I don't see a crack. I mean, I, ain't, I, ain't, you know, I can't see as it is, but I don't see a crack. And, I mean, it won't stop leaking. That's, and it was, the end of that hose was kind of cut weird. So that's why I cut it off. I'm going to put a new hose clamp on it. And then if that don't work, I'm going to put a fuel filter on it. I told you. I told you I had one on here. Oh I yeah. Knew it. Good find, good find. I knew it. No leak. Looking good. What I call a clutch save right there. Saved about a two hour round trip, honestly. Alright, so what do we have here? What do we have here? A dear friend of us makes these wonderful cupcakes and cookies and everything right down the road. Oh yeah. Yes, and we're gonna give we gave we gave him some Friday, and now I'm gonna give them to him today too. Yeah. All right, these clients were absolutely amazing. We had some extra shirts and some extra hats, and we wanted to give them some, especially because of the support that they've showed us in our channel. But it was just great getting out there and working for these guys. They love to sit back and watch what we do. And they also brought us these cupcakes that were literally the best cupcakes I have ever had. Huge shout out to them. He's right. back. The treat man's back. <laughs> Get you one out. <laughs> the strawberry and lemon. Yeah, they're delicious. Delicious, thank you. Thank you, thank you. He's been taking the best care of us out here while we've been working on the pond. You gotta love it. All right, now, you want one? I'll definitely take one. All right, I'm gonna give the other the truck driver one too, yeah. <laughs> Here you go, hon. Thank you. <laughs> and we gave them all out. Ain't got no more. <laughs> hey, those are so good. <laughs> they brought them cupcakes and all kind of stuff up here. <laughs> those cupcakes were so good. I like I'm about to sink right here. So what we've got here, Zach, is, as you can see, watch my feet. So the bottom of this pond is real soft. So Catalina is gonna dig it out and they're gonna pack it back in with good material. We'll smooth drum everything again. We've got good, you know, good hypoplasticity clay on its way here. We'll install that and this thing will be like a swimming pool. Okay, is this something where you guys will fill in the water or how, how does that work? So God will take care of that. Okay. He'll, uh, he'll put the water in here for us, but hopefully these people will have a nice, enjoyable pond now out here. Oh, yeah. Stay tuned.
So is it just you driving today, man? No, Jason's behind me just a little bit. We had some issues this morning, but he's getting them taken care of. So he'll be up here shortly. I'm gonna run back and grab a second load. That way we get three off the bat and then uh, Jason will be with them to finish them up. I gotta okay. do some other stuff and move some equipment around. How many more loads you thinking? Probably six. About six? Yeah. That's, that's my uneducated guess, so <laughs> take it with about a grain of salt. All right, well, Bro, appreciate you. Have a you. Good day.